good morning from the farm. We're on a dumper truck. <laughs> right, we're rolling on that one. Good. It's going to be so warm today, though, so it's going to be 30. This is the most challenging. Uh... He's, um, Rue's got me on top of the dumper truck. I had so much fun the other Saturday. Oh my God, it was wild. I've always wanted a big dumper truck. And have you? Yeah, I'm going to see if he'll, you know, if he'll let me have it for the winter. Winter? What do you want to do? Oh, look, I could take Mark, I could go here, go there, I could put all my bits and bobs in the front. It's rather a large one, though. I probably don't need one quite as big as this. Yeah. But it was fun and it was fab. And wow. We've done all the footings and we had two pipes. We had a land drain that we had to re divert and um, another pipe. So all the pipe work was done. Uh, yeah, we've so had the steels done for the, the legs the legs done so we've had big metal plates welded on the bottom of the legs and the next thing is we're going to get the auger in and we've got it's like a big corkscrew but apparently if you get them stuck in the ground omg it's OMG. a right nightmare nightmare so we've got to do 12 holes do you like being a construction manager definitely <laughs> i am very good very bossy and yes, let's do this. You look now. very at home on that on that seat. I did. I did enjoy my um. And but Willie gave me a go on the. Willie is my Kubota. uncle. Yeah, He's, Uncle uh, Willie. And oh dear, I wasn't too good on that. That thing's fantastic. It's a three sixty next to us. I need twenty four. I, I need a few so sessions. So for context for everyone, I was driving down the barn. Yeah. It's really funny in here because there's an echo from the oh, is there? <laughs> from the bucket. Oh, God. But um, I was yeah. driving down down the driveway. And I thought, oh, I must show everyone the footings because the last podcast yeah. you were saying, right, we're going to get that done. And yep. we're, so you, you've, you've done a, yeah, we actually you've, done you've done it. a was, royal job. Yeah. But anyway, I was driving down, I thought I must get a little bit of footage of, to show you what they've done. And then I thought, well, why not, it, why not set us up mother on, the, on dumper. the dumper truck? But more context for everyone. Um, and this is only to throw mum under the proverbial bus. But yeah. mum texted me last night saying, oh, 8 no, a.m., yeah, go. don't be late. It's now yeah. uh, half, half past ten. ten. <laughs> look, so I have plenty of time to set up. <laughs> <laughs> and he looked right stroppy. Then someone <laughs> rang me up. Someone that is prone to have a little chat. No, oh, I like having it. That's, and then that's he everyone was glaring who rings you at me. It's like, oh, I think I'm in trouble. Yeah, come oh, on, dear. get down. Come on, let's get going. Let's but, get down. Oh, dear. But I have had fantastic. a busy morning. What do you do when you get up in the morning? You just do your tea. Well, you? I drive down the M40 for an hour oh. and come here. Yeah, you got to drive up. That's yeah. dreadful, isn't it? No, it's fine. I like the drive. It you know helps me think about what I'm going to ask you. I've been moving sheep and filling up bags with corn, ready for milling and doing all those things. <laughs> the next thing I know, it's blooming quarter to ten. I know. Or oh, then I had to go up a ladder and pick plums from the tree. No, Victoria you did, plums. But this is the this this I would do. be my I have point. A, I have a system. Don't if I don't need... do it in the morning, that's it. Well, where the are you picking plums? For me shop. They go like hot plums. <laughs> Everybody loves Victoria plums. I do actually love a plum. Yeah, yeah they ripe now, are they? And then, get this, in the winter, January, February, Rue's like, oh, I want to do a really nice pudding, Mum. Have you got any plums? So those plums are all going in the freezer. And when it's... I think I deserve a cut of those plums, though, given my weight this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many, how many pounds would you like? <laughs> Pound an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. Now we've got to stock all the freezers up and, and put all the plums in the freezer for in the winter because it's going to be a very it could be a very hard winter you think yeah mm. nature is providing the fields the bushes are full of blackberries and yeah. slows and we're all haymaking as well get this september the what is it today third third of september I believe so yeah it's going to be 30 degrees or whatever and everybody's haymaking <laughs> yes <laughs> It's absolutely bizarre, but uh, I, I read, a, read a little post that if you, if you can uh, make hay in September, then why wouldn't you? Yeah. Right. I mean, you just got, it just takes a little bit longer. But, mm. and it's a but little yeah, bit... heatwave week. Sean and I are going to go to the beach tomorrow. Yeah, everybody's got to go down to the coast. It's yeah, we, the we're not about. blessed in uh, mid-England because Buckinghamshire is basically as far from the coast as you could ever be. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you can make a little day trip down to the seaside. Gorgeous. It's quite a novel thing for us, isn't it? Or you can go up north to the sheep sales and go and have a little look up there. Yeah. That would be interesting. <laughs> I think it'd be nice to sit on the. Maybe, sit on the maybe more of a. Uh, that's not a hot weather activity, really. No. Go to sheep sales. No. 
Oh, um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's gorgeous now. The sun's really come out because when I was setting the cameras up, don't want to make excuses. I mean, obviously it's challenging. We're on a dumper truck, but uh, the, it was it was far more sort of. Well, you yeah, could see quite, it was going to be a nice it's, day. It's, mis it's misty. It was a bit misty. Yeah. Gorgeous. Mm. So, Mum, you probably can't even see your face now in the camera. No, don't care. <laughs> don't I don't care. want to see my face. Thank you. <laughs> there are some beautiful cows in no, the background. I'm, yeah, though. I was looking at the cows. They're all swishing and. Fly, flies, I've had to get the sheep in this week, Monday. They were all blooming fly, you know. I had, um, one of my ewes had got some maggots, and so everything got sprayed with um, fly repellent, okay. ectofly, and so they're all safe, but the flies are absolutely, they go all around their eyes and things, oh, they're horrible things. Horrible. Then grounds had a hornet's nest, we've had to have the pest control bloke out, hornets, so they're like, this wow and she went down monday night and her big kitchen window they were all trying to get in the window it's like holy a scene from a horror <laughs> it's like smokes. a horror scene and then they're all going in the mortar in the but roger was yeah. i'll just say thank you to roger but he came and he he sorted the job but there's Brilliant. been a lot of hornets i'm not dad often talks talks about them when he's in the lorry and he's going along and he's it, we've all, we've had the hornet story a few times, but I've never um, heard the hornet not really. Story. But they are really, really big, and you have got these um, ones coming over from Asia and across. The, oh, okay. They're eating all our honeybees, Ruth. Oh. They're really, really bad. Yeah. So I was I was reading about those last night. You love yeah. bees. You're always talking about bees. Oh, bees. Yeah. <laughs> we love bees. Well, they're really, 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 really important for us, aren't they? Yeah. But, I mean, uh, it's, no, so it's been an exciting week, really. One thing or another, none, another. Yeah. So, uh, so some sheep got out, did they? Yeah. Two phone calls yesterday. Rams got out. Not my rams. That makes a change. Hey. It? And guess what he said? He On said, your high horse. <laughs> I've got these electric fence and Sarah. The battery's fully charged and fine, fine, fine. Are these your rams? Did you say you? Yeah. It's all fully charged. I don't care what it is. Your rams are out on the road. And then he said, I'm going to have to put a couple of pallets in the old <laughs> roof. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. <laughs> and then they got out again. They got out again. Oh, so, no. And he's not the biggest sheep lover either. Oh, he's, no. He's, and they've won loads of prizes as well, these lovely ram lambs. So I said, oh, you leave him with me. I'll, I'll, I'll look after him for a couple of days. Anyhow, how so funny quite, is that? Yeah. It's quite nice not to be my sheep. Yeah. yeah, and for someone else to choose pallets over uh, as a yes. What what would you say a bolt on <laughs> addition to your fence? <laughs> That's amazing, especially but, when uh, you got all the nice bits. But yeah. I suppose sheep are difficult with electric fences, are they? Because they got all the wool to. These are these are the show ones as well, and I think they're very fussy. And they just go. They are under this lovely oak tree, and. They just sort of shimmy their way under. You right. know, any little nook or cranny, they're out. Wow. And that, and my rams are over the other side of the road, and so they can. They're talking to one. You okay. know, they're <coughs> mm. having a good chat. So this was a good question from Go uh, Dale. Go on. Then. Well, timely question given mm -hmm. what we're just talking about. We wanted to know your three favourite um, sheep breeds. My three favourite. Top three. What we'll start at three? Oh, go, working up to the top? Yeah. Oh, dear. Let, let's say um, money's no object. And let's say that, that yeah, that's that's it. Money's no object. Do you know what? Um, I, oh, dear, that's a good question. That's a really good question. You can change it next month if you want some more time. Well, but you we know what I'm like, now. I am very changeable. It depends which <laughs> month it is and what's getting out and what's yeah, happening on yeah. the farm, doesn't it? Yeah. I said I'd never have another herb with, but look at me now. Um, I think, oh, uh, Clin, although I haven't got many okay. Clins now, but the yeah. Clin are a good breed. Well, you don't have to have them. No. You don't have to have the no. breed. Clin are a good Clin. breed. Clin, okay, uh, that's at three. That's at three. And what am I going to put at number two? I mean, I think number one has got to be Texel. I do like my right. Texels. Only because they are, but I think I like the Herdwicks as well. Yeah. So perhaps they could be two or three. Those three breeds, I think. 
great. Clean. But oh, and fabric. I like the blue texels. Blue texels. They're quite nice as well. I like them because they are. Yeah, they they. But there are other other breeds that I admire, and I think I would like to. See, I think, you know, now the Texel, some of my big girls are getting so big now. When they run past you, you've got to stop them. It's like, God, <laughs> they are really big. So, yeah. um, but I do like the Texels overall, I think. They've got to be the number one. Yeah. The blue, te the blue Texels are nice. I've only just started having a few of those. Okay. But they are quite nice. But then again, the Herdwicks are, are quirky and got they, character. They're a lot prettier, the Herdwicks objectively you know in a, in a web on a website or and know, also I like some photograph. of the li I'd like some of the little breeds the the um can you remember the little shoat we had Ray? the shoat. little it was it, a sheep and a if goat if you look at, back at the videos you might see her um she was basically someone dumped her in my field oh and I never knew I rung the neighbours and no one knew what you know who and where and what and it's like it's yours, Hillary. You got some of these. Um, these um, um, she's got um, rough bells. I, you've got one of the or one of those. And is this your shit? She said, "No, it's not mine, Sarah." Wow. So I rung all round, and then it, it, and then when it stayed with me, it had about four lots of lambs. Wow. So it was like um, it's not a Hebridean one. It was um, Castle Moor. It type a very unusual. Wow. But she was amazing, and the best is best is best is mum in the whole wide world. Mm. You know, you could, you know, you got a little small holding. You could have three or four of those, and they would be amazing. Yeah, very pretty. You know, pretty. they're such good mummies. Yeah. And such lovely lambs. So I like all sorts of breeds. And when I go to the shows, I think, oh, that's nice. <laughs> I mean, I don't want any of this Swiss nose. What's it, Val Noir or? I don't really know that much about them and they're very super expensive. So those sort of things. But I like some of the northern breeds as well, the rough fells and Yeah, yeah. So there's all sorts I like. But yeah. for me on this farm, it's Texel, blue Texel. But mm -hmm. perhaps I've got to go down, perhaps some of my Texels have got to go and I've got to have sheep that I can handle better. Because they're getting too big. Because they're strong. getting too big. Mm. Well that's a consideration, I suppose. Yeah. Um that's interesting. Mm. Um and then I got another question. Good question. Good question. So this one was from Five Farm here in America. Um, how does your mum feel about hair sheep as opposed to wool sheep? Many oh, wow. in the US have turned to hair sheep uh, partially due to the high shearing costs that outweigh wool value. Yeah. I've never heard of it. Yeah, not. No, I've not not heard of that. I mean, we have to, sheep. we have we do have the easy care sheep over here. Right. That sort of shed their fleeces and that they don't have to be sheared. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it's just part of the sheep cycle. I've done it for all these years. Easy, easy. Easy care. It sounds like Unilever's come up with that. <laughs> yeah, and it's a Wiltshire horn cross with something. I'm not sure. Okay. But it's a, they're easy care, very short fleeces, and they sort of shed it a bit. And okay. So they but they don't have to be sheared. These are hair sheep. These are hair, though. That's weird. May I'll have to bring a photo next time. We can talk so about it. So it's like those. Yeah, I've not, I've not heard of those. No. Perhaps it me, me either, really. Yeah, I mean, um, the, the shearing. Great question I've just had the farm. shearing I bill. I'm like, I haven't sold the wool yet. I, I don't think I'm going to make a penny. I'm probably at a loss. Mm. But you know what? It's so criminal. I can't bury it, burn it, do whatever you want. I'm, it's got to go. Someone's yeah. got to do something with it. Yeah. Come on, you young people. Think of things that we can do with the wool other than put them in hanging baskets and garden centres. Yeah. Well, Make it a bit cheaper so that we can do all the homes, insulate all the homes in this country. Smell like old sheep, though. No. They can wash <laughs> no, it. No, I'm only kidding. Every, all these new builds and that say, yes, you can have it, your new builds, but you've got to put, everybody's got to have three or four solar panels on the top of the roof, and you've all got to have sheep sheep wool for insulation okay is that if you could work on that you know organize that please. yeah I'll, I'll start a campaign yeah <laughs> could take me a few years yeah. <laughs> um good. and the other big thing going on at the farm i came over on saturday and it was gorgeous because i spent some time in the field Beautiful. sitting with uh two pigs and oh. 15 piglets oh, and they're, they're just glorious. digging around and having a nice time that was uh, this glorious. week calming farming oh, uh, which i'll play now
Aren't they gorgeous? I just love them. I absolutely love the pigs. They are so nice out in the fields. So there's been a few comments on that video. Oh, it's just, they're just, they, it's, they're such lovely girls. And the piglets, they just love it going. They have to come in though, it's a bit, bit hot. <laughs> Get to about, they have to, they're like the Spanish, they have to come in about 12 and come and have a siesta. <laughs> and, and then they might go out for another little thing. But as soon as they hear that container door, they're like, Shh, Yeah, gone. which means Aren't food they lovely time. though? They're so nice. Don't they're rooting think? about and uh, comment, um, I can't remember who from, I can find out, um, said about Joel Salatin, who's a very famous um, personality in in farm farming future farming okay uh, but it said uh, there's a reason a pig has a plow at the end of its nose that was from Cassie yeah, Ooh, from yeah. Australia that's a funny thing and they're all they got certain areas where they really really like it mm. I think where they are at the, at the top that was where we used to have the old muck heaps and you know I've leveled it and you know and, okay. and that's where they're really really they like it up there, don't and they? so a lot of the comments were around: Do they damage the land and things like that? Uh, yeah, but there's nothing that a chain arrow and a flat roll will put right. Okay. And and they put the sows can have a ring. They have a ring. They have a ring, so it stops them rooting too so much. So much. Okay. Yeah. Because they can just dig, I assume. But 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 literally, I've got places on this farm, everybody, that I really need rooting and digging up. Like we've put a, a fence round in the corner over there where it's yeah. just full, where the previous owner just had it for burning plastics and string and all sorts of crap over there. So um, when I wean the piglets, they're going to go over and, and root up and they can root for England over there. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. And also, you'd have a couple of those piglets and people have them for, you know, say we want to do a, you know, we want to grow a bit more stuff and we want to. Um, well, digging, you know, take a couple down the allotments if you want, everybody, or someone... Um, Save you a job. John and Pam, not yet, but um, he wants to get his vegetable plot up and, because he's been out of action, but have a couple of pigs on there and a little shelter, honestly. Yeah. And they dig and root it all up, and um, it's amazing. So then you can just rake it over. Yeah. And, um, and they eat the apples out the orchards and all that sort of stuff, and they're fantastic, so... Yeah, they yeah. well, they just and they're they, joyful to me. They really, really, they are really joyful, are yeah. beautiful because they look so wonderful because the grass had all freshened up, and then you've got all these ginger. And then I sit <laughs> and we have our breakfast, and you've got mummy sow. There's Ginny going along, and then you've got one, two, all these little <laughs> piglets, and oh yeah, and then they sort of they oh. they they get sidetracked and yeah. have a nice time, and then they look up and go, hang on a minute. Where's my mum? And then yeah. they, oh. Yeah. <laughs> or they come out, they actually come under the gate in the garden, I don't care. And uh, they come and eat the crab apples. So they're like, oh yeah, <laughs> have a little snack. Off we go again. Yeah. So they are lovely. Yeah, they're so, having a great time. Yeah. Lucky pigs. Very lucky yeah, pigs. Yeah, I love seeing them outside. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I mean, for, for September that we're in now, obviously. I just hope it's going to be like this for a month. Mm. So we can all enjoy a little bit because we've had no summer. No, as such. the summer's been and it's bad really thing. awful because as soon as the kids go back to school, Freddie's gone back to school, my grandson's gone back to school, or go going to school for the first time, I should say. Yeah. So well done, Freddie. Yeah. Lots of love from Gran. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, yeah, we got um, some pictures through. He's, yeah. he's off to school. Yeah, he's got his lovely green sweatshirt. I know. Oh, so sweet. grown up. Gorgeous. So crazy. Anyhow. But yeah, and all the kids go back. It's so miserable, but they can come home and then perhaps do some well, swimming yes. and things. It's just so miserable, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I remember being, well, we all remember being kids and yeah, some yeah. holidays was amazing. But this yeah. year, it has been a bit yeah. sporadic with the weather. So. It's been a bit miserable. I mean, I, I've had a fleece on before now. Mm. I had my gilet on because it was cold. Gilet. I was cold. That's so funny. But anyhow, so everybody is busy haymaking. Yep. Yeah all around the country, all these little pallets and things that we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. We're and your cows out are out over here. And my cows are out. The sheep are happy as Larry. The yep. pigs are happiest of all. Yep. Sheep are all... So I just hope... And we're all really, chipper, really. Yeah. We'll have some hay to get in and there's some... Straw. Our straw has been combined, but he hasn't boiled it, so I've got to be sat on a tractor and unloading straw at some point. Mm. But filling the sheds up. How's your the new tractor? Up. 
it's lovely but we're just getting used to it I've, I've got a loader and a thing and I can get the loader up and the thing goes down and the down and the thing go you know so we're getting used to it <laughs> I didn't understand that but yeah. someone else might yes have. <laughs> it's all to do with the hydraulics room really. yeah well one thing goes up the other thing goes down it's okay right, I, right. I, we managed to get the loader up because we we just sort of looking at it and admiring it it looks it? like it should be in sort of a, a fair <laughs> I mean that in the nicest possible sense. It's too clean. It, yeah, it looks like it should be on a showground. It's been in people a walking around going, and it hasn't oh, done this any is a work. nice example of a massive Ferguson. <laughs> it hasn't done much work. It's beautiful. It is. It's really nice. It's Lovely good. and clean. I, I could go to a tractor rally. Can you I? could. That's that's kind of what I was alluding Actually, to. Yeah. They do have these these um, I'd love to see you with that, at that. Oh, yeah. I'd love to see and that. And they go all round because Rob goes round, Uncle Rob. And he, he said to me before, Sarah, you need to come on one of the, But if I take the, my fluid massy, I'd be that, me, me foot would drop off because <laughs> I'm like this all the time. But um, it will be fun. They go around all the lovely little villages up in the hills over near Chalfont and all around there. Oh, right. Okay, nice. Hopefully they stop and have a, have a cup of tea or something. A cup of tea somewhere. Mm. But yeah. Well, thank you very much for spending some time with me this morning and us, Mum. It's been it's really nice pleasure. to have a chat. Go and have a look at those pigs, everybody. They yeah. are so gorgeous. Yeah, I'll put some nice footage probably over the top of this bit right now. Yeah. Uh, so you can enjoy, you can get played out by uh, pigs sniffing about. <laughs> <laughs> what a better way. Yeah, you, everybody, take care and go and get out in the nature. Yeah, thanks everyone. And, and take we'll see care you next and month. lots of love. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, that was nice. Very nice. God. That's a bit of climbing, I think. It is. Not the most practical. Who cares? Who cares, exactly?